Hey guys, how you doing? Sorry, we haven't been around for a while. Um, yeah, things have been a little bit crazy on our side, but here we are. Sardine Run 2021. Uh, the sharks are coming through. The Garrick, the GT. Um, all these amazing fish that we want to catch. And uh, I'm here to hopefully help you understand how to build a trace that's going to help you land your shark that you would like to hook into in the run. Um, I will do other traces on Garrett GT etc etc for the run but for now this is a full metal jacket for you to catch your shark. I have spoken about full metal jacket in the past and I just haven't got to it yet. So here we are. Guys the basics that you're going to need is going to be a carbon coated wire 250 pound um, for these particular traces I'm going to use an Eagle Claw 13O uh, circle hook um, Trident has released a new power swivel which this is this is a 7O power swivel um, very nice swivel and you're gonna need an empty swivel. I couldn't get the normal ones that I use, which has got that metal collet on the top. Um, there is a home remedy that you can do as well with a normal power swivel and you put a earbud through it and you cut the ends off. Works just the same. Um, but I managed to find these eight by 12 millimeter um, plastic collet on the top with the power swivel coming off. These will be perfect it's really just for you to carry a sinker on and for it to slide uh, two beads and you're looking at two pieces of heat shrink that's you're gonna need tools you're gonna need would be uh, I've got two screwdrivers I'll show you why just now um, some cutters and some pliers so here we go guys I'm gonna help you assemble it now and hopefully by the time you're done you're gonna have a trace that's gonna look exactly like that right so first to assemble this trace let's uh, get our carbon coated out 250 pound we're going to need two meters or so. So I'm just going to run this out quickly for us all to speed this process up. There's about four and a half meters on here. Um, if I'm lucky, I'll get two traces of the leftover that's on this. So we're going to go, as you can see, extended arm, that's one meter. Two meter. I'm gonna go a little bit more, another 200 moles or so, just for tying knots, and then I'm gonna take my cutters, cut it off, and that's carbon coated out of the way. I'm gonna take one of my hooks and I'm gonna smell it. Right, so we got our 250 pound carbon. And we've got our 13 hour circle hook. You're going to come in through the front to snow. You're going to hold the tag in down. And we're going to wrap a minimum of seven times. Pull it tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take the end, I'm going to push it through the back of the R, through the back of the R. That completes the circle on the circle hook. And then you're going to have a snarled hook, as you can see there. Right, so as neat as that may look right now, when I let this tension go, the snail wants to jump down. Now normally with the the 
plastic coated, um, you can heat it up and then it, it binds together. But we're not going to do that right now because you obviously can't with the, with the carbon. So what I do is I cut a bit of the tag end off. Sorry, I thought that would have come off the first time around. I didn't cut deep enough. And then what we're going to do on that is we're going to take a piece of heat shrink. Now with the eye of the hook being as big as it is, this particular heat shrink that I've got, if it's too small, let me shorten it a little bit, otherwise the second screwdriver goes through and it doesn't work out. Put it onto your first screwdriver and then you slide your second screwdriver in. Towards the end you kind of got to just assist it and then you stretch it open a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see. This works better if you've got some uh, split ring pliers. You can slip the split ring pliers in and stretch it open. But in this in this instance, this works perfect for us. Slide it over the end of the hook. Right guys, now that you got your heat shrink in place, so I'm just making sure I've got it up enough. I'll put trash in my mouth, just to increase the pressure and keep the heat shrink up. Snelled heat shrinks holding everything in place, so we're good to go on that. Okay, so now what we need to do is a bead. I've taken two out. I'm going to drop my first bead on, and then I'm going to take one of my anti swivels. I'll explain to you guys just now about the stopper for your sliding sinker, but we'll get to that at the end. Um, empty swivel. Your steel goes through the plastic or through the, the top collet on a normal one. So you put one bead, empty swivel. second bead and then you go for your soil. This is where the challenge comes in. It does get a little bit of a handful but we can do this. You need one more piece of a heat shrink as I said in the beginning. Again I'm going to cut it a bit shorter than what was here before only for the stretching purpose on this particular one. Before you put your swivel on, drop your heat shrink on. So that's out of the way. Right now what you do is you take your trace, you push it through the eye of the swivel. Give yourself about a hundred, hundred and fifty mils worth of tag end. Um, You've come in through the bottom of the swivel. Now you've got to pinch it tight in your hand and you wrap it around, around the shank of the power swivel once. Twice.
So you've gone around twice. And you can see, I don't know if you can see here. See where that, that strand comes down. When I pull the strand down, it creates a bit of a gap on the top here. You, you've got to push your tag in through that section. So you pull the strand down. Tag end in through the hole. Get your pliers and pull tight. Once you've got that pull tight, you've got to do eight wraps, tight wraps. Tag end around the main shaft. you can see I've got I've got my first one going you can do that eight times Last one. Right, when you when you get to eight, cut the left of a bit of tag end off. Done and dusted. Then you should have a knot that kind of looks I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll, I'll take a photograph and I'll post it in the video for you. But that there is not going to go anywhere. Alright, so from that, we move back and we find the heat shrink. We move it up. Now obviously we're going to have the whole space constriction again. So... Slide it over the one screwdriver. Get them through. Stretch, stretch, stretch. it up to a point where you've covered the eye and there we go guys right guys so that's your trace a two meter trace, circle look 13-0, your sliding sinker, decent power swivel, That's for your the only difference between this and a drone trace is no sinker on your steel, you, instead of the sinker, you will do one of these skirts, um, and your sinker would be on your leader, um, droning, yeah, there's a whole other aspect. You're obviously going deeper, etc, etc. So yeah, guys, that's it. Um, hopefully I've helped you understand how to build your trace. 
give me a shout please feel free to like subscribe share with your friends and comment on the video so i know what i need to do for you guys and what information you may need moving forward this channel is about informing everyone on the things i've learned from the community and offering back to the community so guys once again thanks very much for watching and uh, stay tuned for more content coming up soon great and exciting things coming up thanks guys have a good evening good night